Hey, what's up guys? My name is Mental, and today we are gonna do a Photoshop tutorial on how to make this interesting uh, advertisement. You could do it with pretty much anything. I'm just doing it with headphones. You could make it with pretty much, I don't know, you could try to make it with a shoe. You could do it with something. Get creative. So I'm doing it with with a pair of, with a headset today. Okay. So um so yeah. So the first thing that that I did to do this would be I got this image over here of obviously my headphones. Wait, let's check this out. Okay. So first you got to get your headphones. And for it to be pretty well centered, what you should do is uh to uh, unvisualize that and get your rulers over here and to pop them up like if you don't get them over here just to get them just press control R and as you can see they show up so grab it just click on it and drag it and right about where it clicks it's probably gonna stop like here I can't really move it that much unless I like there that means it's in the middle well, I already had these set, and that's why this one I already set, but if you didn't, uh, just do the same thing with the top one. Drag it down, click on it, drag it down, and where it stops, right there, leave it there. And those are your rulers. It kind of sets the middle of it, so everything could be centered, everything will be, will look nice. So, now, um, get your product, uh, make it, well, first press Control t and the hold shift to, to make the image bigger if you don't hold shift and you try to just try to make it bigger this is what will happen and we don't want that because like even if you try the image will be will end up like this and it won't really look good so control T uh, shift if you want to press shift and alt which will keep it in the same place because if we just press shift it'll just make it bigger but if we press shift and alt same place uh, decide your size let me make it a little bit bigger I'm not gonna put this exactly centered I'm gonna put a little bit up like there let me see if it's about the same size let me see try to put in the middle so you see where that where this little um, arrow dot thing is in the middle try to put it in this line normally you could just put it in the middle over here but I'm pretty much just gonna put a little bit higher I'll explain to you why now. Let me see if it's about the same size. No, I'm going to make it a tiny bit bigger. So, yeah, I think that's about right. Yeah, I'm going to move it a little bit up. And that's pretty much it. So now, uh, what I did for the background is I got this that where is it here this image of these clouds so um so the smooth i pretty much looked up on google smooth clouds and this showed up i just wanted something like that you could also look up a, a grunge look that up too and uh yeah it look pretty nice depending like you need to make your own style like get creative uh look for what like looks better on your design and yeah do that so forgot to explain this it uh, drag it from one side like from one from one picture to another pretty much just click on it and drag it and let it go here and it'll show up here uh, let's bring it under under our headset over here and let's do the same thing as before control T shift all to make it bigger I'm gonna make it kind of like this. Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna do something like that where you, most of what you see is the cloud. Let me see. Around there, I would say. Yeah, I think that looks nice. And then after this, I make a new layer. Click over here on the bottom. You see where my the mouse is. Click right there. And you'll and you'll get a new layer. Put it, yeah, right in between these two. Leave it right in between. And what you're going to do is um, you're going to go here. Where my mouse is, see it? You're going to click on it. 
and get I'm gonna go all the way black oh, actually no I'm gonna go up a little bit more not fully black like right there actually no I'm gonna do fully black because then I'm gonna bring the opacity down so I'm gonna press ok then I, over here when I have this layer I'm gonna press alt and then backspace and it'll fill in the the color on this layer so now that we have this just um just click the opacity over here and bring it let me see where I could bring it down to let me see how I brought it down here like I'm gonna leave it about 83 let's say that's fine if not I could always bring it up if later it doesn't look good because I'm still gonna add a lot more stuff to it and it may not look good we never know so um what are we gonna do now? okay now we're gonna go to like I'm gonna use me I'm gonna use my uh my uh design pack and you could use your own mine has clouds if you want to download it uh, look at my videos and the last two videos and if not I'll leave it in the description below just go download it uh, just go over here smoke open this up and I'm gonna use this one the second one this one looks good to me so to do this since you know how I said to drag it over here before and since we have a lot of stuff open up here and we really can't drag it what you're gonna do is right click on the layer and you're gonna press duplicate layer you're gonna on the document you're gonna open it and press wherever your your um wherever it is so here's my advertisement I'm gonna click on it and okay and now it will be in this layer as you can see it's over here we're gonna drag it under the the headset and I think this yeah this is about the same size right yeah I didn't actually no I, mean, I would like to make it a little bit smaller remember control T shift alt to make it smaller I think about there would be nice I'm gonna move it over a little bit just drag it let me put it in the middle no I'm not actually no I'll put it on this line but around here that looks good to me I'm gonna around there yeah well now I'm gonna move it over down there I would say so now um now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click I mean first we're gonna yeah we're gonna click on here we're gonna press control J dup duplicate this layer we're gonna name these so we don't really get disorganized let's say let's name this headset headset um head set actually no I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna say headset movement I'll explain to you in a minute why we're gonna drag it under here I'm just gonna name it a uh, smoke uh, this I am gonna name just black so I just realize it and clouds just to name the layers all you need to do is go to a name double click and it allows you to change the name well I'm gonna delete this layer and now we have this so with the headset, the duplicate layer that we just created, we're going to go to filter up here, blur, and down to motion blur. On motion blur, we're going to bring, I'm going to bring my distance down. I'm going to put it at about, let's say, let's say 20. Let me see how this looks. Nah, 25. Yeah, about 25. We're going to put it on 25. And we're going to bring our opacity down to like 70, let's say. Yeah, 70. Bring your opacity down to like 70. Okay. So, we have like the basics done. We still have one more thing to do that that will probably make it look nice. But let's see. So, yeah. Where the smoke is, create a new layer on top of it. Actually, no. Under it. Let's put it right there. And you're going to go down here to the um, shape. Shape. And you're going to click on a ellipse ellipse tool so when you have that you're gonna go here I'm gonna take out the stroke I'm gonna put fill you're gonna put completely black normal black and what we're gonna do here is you're gonna cr just click wait click and drag to create your circle and what you want to do is create like a circle that will represent the shadow of this 
of this headset. So I'm going to put this in the middle, which would be around there. Drag it down. Let me see how it looks there. I will say that's about right. Let me see. Yeah, I do need to bring it a little bit up. I did realize that. So around there, I would say. Yeah. So now we're going to do, we're going to right click on the lips to layer. And we are going to rasterize the layer. So when we rasterize it, it's not going to have any type. It's just going to be a plain image. Yeah, and we're just going to call this uh, shadow. Yeah, let's call this shadow. Call that shadow. So then when we have that, we're going to go again to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Let's click on Gaussian blur. And I have it way too high. <laughs> uh, let me put it at about 10. 10 would be, yeah, 10 is nice. 10. So when you have it at 10, we're going to go again to opacity. And we're going to bring our opacity down to 70. No, up 80. 80 is good. 80. 80. 80. Um, actually, no. <laughs> yeah, 80 there, but then um, fill, we're going to put it at, I'll say 90. Yeah, 90 is good. And mine, I didn't make it really big enough. I want to make it bigger. So again, control T. Well, this depends on how you made it. I want to make it bigger so you really notice the layer. I want to cover everything up there. So now, pretty much what I'm going to do is create another kind of shadowish thing. But most people to do this, they just get their brush tool and they just paint over there and then they just bring the opacity down. No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I'm going to uh, go to the headset, press Control J to copy the layer. I'm going to right click, blending options, uh, color overlay, and we're going to put it all the way black. All the way black. And we're going to rasterize layer style right click rasterize layer style and now when we have this we're gonna press ctrl t without pressing shift or anything just bring it down like this yeah yeah, yeah. something like that let me see i'm gonna make this tighter like that it's just to kind of give it a little bit of shape we would say there so now we're going to do the same thing as before with the other one. Well, first we're going to put it right on top of the shadow layer. And we're going to press filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And this one we're going to put it kind of high. There. I'm going to put it at 30, 36. 36 is nice. 36. And I don't know if I need to bring... I think that's nice. Yeah. There's a, yeah, it looks about the same. Let's. I do want to make this thinner again. Let me just modify something here. I'm just going to make this thinner. Let's see if it looks better now. And up. Let's bring it up a little bit. There. Yeah, and I, I did do something. I realized I should have put the... The shadow. Yeah, the shadow. Let's bring the opacity down to 50. No, 60. Yeah, 60 here. And then on, on opacity. And then on fill. Let's say 70. Yeah, 70 is about nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we have that. It's almost done. So now we're going to have a color correction. A color correction is, let's say, like a filter. Yeah, it's kind of like a filter. And a lot of people uh, either use a pre-made one from a pack. You could get your own pack one. Uh, you could always go here and mess around with this. Brightness and contrast. Make your own vibrance, curves, exposure. I'm um, just to make this just for the sake of the tutorial. We're gonna go to our mental designs pack, pack, and we're gonna go on color correction. Uh, remember, like before, right click, duplicate group, and press on our on our file. So then we're gonna go back to here, and we're gonna bring this all the way to the top, right there. So now we have that. As you can see, it looks really dark compared to this. So, yeah, pretty much what we're going to do is go to Opacity. And we're going to bring it down to, I don't know, 50? Nah, a little bit higher. 60. 55? <laughs> I think that looks about nice. Yeah. And what I'm going to do, remember I said we could always change this black. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. I'm going to say 90? No, 87. Yeah, I think that looks about right. 
And now that we have the color correction, I just realized something that we brought way too down the shadow on this. I'm gonna because the color correction makes everything kind of darker. I'm gonna bring this up. <laughs> yeah, pretty much all the way. <laughs> yeah, headset copy. I think I'm gonna put it at a hundred again. Yeah, I think that's about right. Yeah, and I'm gonna make it wider again, like before. That is perfect. Okay. Another thing that we're going to do, we're going to go to headset, create a new layer, and we're going to click right here, we're going to press on the zoom, and we're going to zoom in right around here. So then we're here, we're going to press over here on the corner, the color, and we're going to current the, uh, the sample size, we're going to get this, the sample, we're going to get a sample from this, we're going to get about this color, yeah, that's about right, depending on your color. I'm just doing this for, for this image. You could do whatever image, you could do this on whatever, I'm just doing this. Like you, and if your headset, for example, let's put an example, a Razer headset, the green snake, you can get this and put like this kind of around the snake, so it looks pretty nice. The snake like pops out, it looks really nice. So we're going to lower our size, we're going to press the brush, we're going to go here. And we're going to lower our size to about 65, 66. Yeah. So what we're going to do is click on it. We're going to click on this. And you see how it kind of pops. But it's covering it too much, right? So we're going to go lower our opacity down to... Let me see how from far away how it looks. I think that's about right. No, let's lower it a little bit. Uh, 75? No. 65, 65. That looks good to me. So then we're going to go, and we're going to go to this orangey, like the inside of the headphones. We're going to create a new layer, and we're going to change color, swap it to the other side uh, with this little arrow over here. And we're going to click this, and we're going to get this orange. If I could get a light right there, that light orange, let me see if that looks good. Yeah, that's a, mm, I do want more orange, let me see if I could get it around there. If not, you could always make your own color, I mean. That always works. Let's see if that looks good. Yeah, okay. So now what we're going to do is lower it a little bit. To about 45, 44. It's fine. So now what we're going to do is the same thing that we did before. We're just going to color it over like that. Let me see if it'll... A nice stroke. So yeah, I think that looks, that looks about right. So we're going to do the same thing. Uh, we lowered it to 65. Let's try it 65 over here. Let's put it at 65 and zoom out. And yeah, that looks pretty that looks pretty nice. So then what we're gonna do again is create another layer. Create another layer. We're gonna press on the zoom again. We're gonna go zoom in over here to the Steel Series logo on this corner. So what we're gonna do is change our color to just white. Just put out white. And let's make this a little bit bigger. Around there. No, a little bit bigger let's see there that looks about nice just tap on it in the center if it could be right there perfect and 50 let me see 50 how it looks 50 50 50 looks pretty nice but i don't want to put it i'll just put this one fill just put fill to 80 and no <laughs> no 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 65 i think that looks good it pops out see how these colors pop out and pretty much just to end this, I think it's it's pretty much about the same. The color correction, I am going to put it higher. 65. No, let's leave it on 55. And one last thing to do, the smoke over here. We're going to go to filter again. Blur. Gaussian blur. And we're going to blur this out just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Not too much. Let's see. 2.93 is about right. I'm going to... Let's... Let's uh, bring the opacity down. 75. Let's see. Yeah, I think that looks about right. You could you could always play around with this stuff. And, and for last, I'm just going to get my Steel Series logo. It's just a little tip that looks that always looks pretty nice. And when you have it, you're just going to... Well, mine's black. I do want it in white because you really don't see it in black. So we're just going to right-click. Blending options. Color overlay. And let's bring it all the way to white. So we have it on white. We're going to make this smaller. Remember, Control T, Shift, Alt, 
let's make this smaller what size what size let's put it in the middle remember it clicks this also clicks when it goes to the middle so let's oh and to get rid of your of your rulers if you want to see the design go to just press control h control h and we're done and yeah i think that's pretty much about it it looks it looks if you wanted to make the thing what i made before i think this looks pretty close to it i tried to imitate it so you guys could make that and yeah you could you guys could always play around with this if you want you could um uh, make different backgrounds use a grunge use different clouds use different packs all that kind of stuff if you have shoes you could always play around with the shadows and stuff and yeah so that's pretty much it and i'm just gonna put all of this in this group oh wait i did something over here let me and to go back if you guys did something wrong you want to go back just press Control, alt z and it brings you back to where you were before and yeah so then you're, i'm just gonna press this real fast and bring it inside of this group and yeah so these are the the two things and yeah that i think it looks i think to me it looks pretty nice as an advertisement it's not too complicated from you can see it's not you don't need to do a lot of things and it looks pretty it looks simple nice if you want to add a phrase around here you want to do thing always play around with it so yeah that's about it like the video comment subscribe if you want me to leave the secret download below download to this we need to hit 10 likes yeah i'm gonna say 10 likes if you hit 10 likes i'll leave the secret download below so yeah thank you bye subscribe comment like